For today's lesson, today's project, I'm going to show you step by step how to make this wonderful, wonderful winter candle. And uh, with that, let's go ahead and rock and roll. Okay, I thought we'd start off today by tapping into some of my pink stuff, my alizarin crimson. And of course, I will have the colors running down below. And all I'm doing is just tapping in just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and just tint this canvas. So I'm just going to go ahead and just get this thing tinted. And basically what I have here is a black canvas, as you can tell. And I went ahead and I put clear, clear medium on here. So it, it is already wet and ready to rock and roll. I'm just adding on, adding on this crimson, which is going to just basically tint everything. That's all we're doing. You just want a very, very thin amount of this stuff. Very, very thin amount, but just enough so that's pretty much everywhere on here. And there you go. Okay, I'm just going to go up and down, just make sure this is on there. So I want to thank you very, very much if this is your first time viewing. And for those that have been viewing for a while and supporting the channel I definitely want to thank you as always and if you haven't already taken the time to go ahead and subscribe go ahead and subscribe hit that button all right there we go all right well let's go ahead and start rocking and rolling I hope you're doing awesome on your end feeling pretty good and uh, happy holidays if you do celebrate the uh, Christmas holiday or any holiday and if you don't Happy non-holiday to you as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to tap into some of this white here. And just remember this paint is, this is a black canvas so everything's going to pop and explode. So just, uh, you know, just do your best and just try to relax and have a good time. And let's rock, let's rock and roll. So basically I want to put my light source, I'm going to put the light source maybe, eh, I'll put it right here. Okay right here and basically I'm gonna put a candle so I'm gonna try to try to just keep this dark and kind of kind of work my way around so right here keep it dark we'll figure probably about there would be the candle and this is going to be where the light source is okay so here's your light source and then just kind of work your way out and around and just have fun just move it around just move it around and I'm gonna just come in this way like that. And same thing over here. And I'm just pretending there's a, like a box right here, okay? And I'll do something just like that. Something just like that. Bring that down a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and just just tap into a little bit more. Just a little bit more. There we go. Something like that. Something like that. Got a little hair. There we go. There we go. And maybe just, just a touch, I mean a little tap of that cat in the yellow, right there. Just a little bit, right there. Don't want to see, I just want to kind of slightly, slightly tint that. I'm going to put that down. I'm just going to grab a clean brush and just blend this out. There we go. There we go. Remember these uh, black canvases, I mean they, the color really explodes. So you just wanna, there we go, just wanna be careful, make sure everything's good. Very softly. There we go. Alrighty, with a flat brush, I'm gonna go into some of my white here. And go right into some of the white. 
and I'm gonna go over here and take a touch of my crimson. So a little bit of white, a little bit of your crimson. And you should have a nice white, light color here. Now let's go ahead and see what we can come up. So I'm gonna come in and just right here and just go straight down, okay? The best that you can. And I'll figure, I'll just figure this thing is gonna come maybe like this. And we'll just go straight down. Let me grab a little bit more, kind of straighten that line up a little bit. There we go. And then I'm gonna come in and fix this. I got a little a little bit. Do your best that you can. Remember it's just white and a little bit, a little bit of that pink stuff right now. Let me just there we go. One of, one of these brushes has got those hairs that I like to stick out the side, so it's gonna come in a little bit on a different angle like so, and then straight down. And then it'll just give me some better lines. And then with that, we're just gonna just kind of fill that in. Fill that in, maybe a little bit. Something like that. There we go. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and just, just touch it a little bit. Just a little bit of my cadmium red here. I'm just going to add a little bit, just a little bit of this red in here as well. Maybe just a little bit more. Remember, as always, a little out of time with this, a little out of time, okay? There we go. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just wipe off. You can give me a second, I gotta grab a napkin here, or a paper towel, excuse me, one moment. There we go. Usually I have my paper towels angered up, but. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some of my black. I'll just put it right here. A little black right there. And I'm gonna grab a touch of that blue. And we're going to come in, and I'm going to put a dark spot right here. There we go. Grab some more color, a little bit of the black, and a touch of that blue. Remember, I'm using Prussian blue and Mars black. And I'm going to come in, and we'll go right here. do the same thing. I am using that flat brush if I don't just in case I forgot to let you know. So I'm just going to go ahead and just wipe off some of this color here on a paper towel and I'm going to come in and I'm just going to start kind of blending in blending this in you want to keep these edges here actually light, so it'll help with the contour and let it give you that angle of it being round, okay? And same thing here. And just work my way over. Wipe off the brush. Do the same thing over here. And just try to blend that in. There you go.
There you go. So you got a nice color going right there. Let me go ahead and wipe this off. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll go ahead into uh, same color here. A little bit of that white with a little bit, a little bit more white, just a touch of that pink in there. Kind of want a little bit off color. And let's go ahead and just put in, we'll figure our wick will be about here. So we'll have right here will be our light source. And then blend on out. And let me go ahead and wipe that. I want to add a little bit more. I just want a little bit more of my red. And a touch of the crimson. And I'm just going to come in here. There we go. And then the same thing, go into the white again. And I'm gonna go and grab some more of the crimson. And it's just back and forth. I know this is kind of frustrating a little bit, especially with me painting. It can be quite boring, but just back and forth. Just trying to get this color just, just right. So when I add that white to it, Just blend that right on in. Just blend that right on in. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this off. And I'm gonna go grab a little bit of my white here. And it's got just a touch. I mean, it's just got a slight, slight hue with the uh, pink in it, okay? And you're gonna come in. Gonna come in and put a nice little right here. Gonna need a little bit more white, a little bit more white. Something like that. Maybe just tap in a little bit. Something like that. Get a little bit more, a little bit more white. A little bit more, a little at a time until you get what you're looking for. There we go. And then soft. Nice soft little blend into there. I'm gonna grab my, I'm gonna use my blender brush. And I just want to just soften this a little bit more. There you go. Put that down. Let's go ahead and start doing the, uh, the wax that's on it. So I'm going to put that down. I'm going to grab a filbert brush. I'm going to go into my white. Same pile. I'll use this pile. I'll save this one. We'll go into this white here. I'm going to add just a touch of that red. Just a touch of that red. Just to give it a little bit of hue. I don't know if you can see the color. I'm going to try to, just so you can see it. And with this, you just want to, just have fun with it. Just have fun. We might even want to darken that slightly with a little bit. There we go. Sorry, I'm just trying to get that right, right how we want. And then just like this. I'm doing little circles and tapping and you want it rough. 
rough, okay? Let me grab some more. There we go. Get something like that. Put that over here. I'm going to grab a little bit more of the straight white here. There we go. Something like that. Come over. There we go. Something like that. Let's go ahead and get some more. Just have fun wherever you think, think the wax would be dripping. There we go. Maybe a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Something like that. And right here. Sorry, you can get real carried away with this, real carried away. There we go. Something like that, okay? Maybe maybe just a little bit more. I apologize. Right here. Right here. Just that it just doesn't just, just not digging it. There we go. I'm gonna put this down. And I'm gonna grab a liner brush. And I'm gonna dip it into I'm actually gonna dip it into some clear medium. Some clear medium. And I'm gonna go into my dark color that we used. Let's spin some up. There we go. And right. Right underneath. I'm gonna put like a shadow. Get everything rock and roll in there. It kind of, uh, you know, just makes it a little bit, a little bit more 3D, I guess. Something like so. There we go. Something like that. Let me grab a little bit more of that, some of that medium there. And just right under here, try to get some, some just some shadow. There we go. Something like that. Just put some. There we go. This gives you different definition, you know, just some, some stuff here, there. Just be careful. You can get, uh, you can very easily overdo this, so. There we go. Maybe just a little bit more over here. And then I'll go back. Go back and add just a little bit more. There we go. Here, give me one second. I just want to grab a little bit more. Let's grab a little bit more white and just come on in. There we go. There we go. There we go. So you got the shadow and then you got like the highlights sticking, sticking out with it. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. And I just want a little bit darker. 
just a little bit like that. With your liner brush, I'm going to go ahead once again just dip into a little bit of my, just a touch of that clear medium. I'm going to go into just straight black right here. I'm going to go ahead and put in a little wick. And let's put that guy right there. Maybe just a tad bit, tad bit thicker. And this is tough for me because my hands always shake. So we got a all right, so we got our, our wick there. Let me go ahead and get this clean. And let me go. I think I'm gonna use my filbert brush. I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into my CAD rat. And I'm gonna come in. And start putting in like the bottom of the flame. I'm gonna go wipe this off, I guess. And let's go up into uh, some of my pink stuff, the crimson. Let's go ahead and get some. some of that in there. I'm going to go ahead and clean that off. And I'm going to go into, and so I don't mess up my color because I'm going to need that yellow. I'm going to take some of this yellow and I'll just put it, I'll just put it right up there and clean this knife. And I'm going to go, I got this dirty brush right here, so I'm just going to start mixing into here. It'll give me, I'm going to add a little bit of the cad red into there. And it'll give me a, basically a cadmium, cad yellow, or excuse me, a cad orange. Apologize. A little bit more. There we go. So you get that nice orangey color. But it's going to be nice and kind of a little bit on the brighter side, I guess. And I'm going to start. Putting that in like so. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this off once again, best that you can. Now I'm gonna go into my cad yellow. Excuse me, and there we go. And I'm going to take a little bit of my white and I'm going to come in and just, there we go, just a little, a little bit. Now I'm also going to take a little bit of this color here, a little bit of the white and I'll go right into here and grab a little bit, there we go. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to highlight a little bit of this wick. Just like that. I don't know if you caught that, but it's got a nice, nice little highlight. All right. So far, so good. I'm having a great time with this painting. I hope you're staying with me and haven't fallen, fallen asleep. Uh, if, if not, I, I definitely appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a two inch brush. I'm going to start just going into a little bit of my my white that I have here. And I'm going to go into my brown. So some white and some of my brown. And let's see what color we get. I'm looking for something right about here. And straight across, just like that. 
and then just slowly, very softly, kind of work your way back towards towards this candle here. There you go. And I'm going to add more brown to this. And I'm going to start right here. There you go. And just work your way up towards that. And let's grab a little bit more white. Just give me one second. I wanna, don't want to pollute this quite yet. So I'm going to take some of that white. I'll put it right there. Let me wipe off that knife. Okay. And then grab, grab your white. And then the white from right here is, once again, Trying to see if it's somewhat straight. It's always, always got an angle. There you go. There you go. I think that's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and use your palette knife. Let's go ahead and mix up some dark color. So I'm going to take my green, take a big old chunk of that stuff, and I'll put it right here, and then a bunch of black, and maybe just a touch, just a touch of that Prussian blue. So probably half black, half blue, half black, half green, and just a just a touch of that blue. Should make a nice dark color here. Go ahead and go like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up that flat brush that we were using earlier to make the candle. And I'm gonna go ahead and start loading this. Actually, I'm going to wait one second on that. I'm going to go into my brown. I apologize. So I'm going to use the flat brush. I'm going to go into just my straight, straight brown here, okay? Now let's go ahead and have some fun. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just start. I'm going to put in like basically a couple pine cones maybe. So I'm just going to come in and just start. Basically, I just need it brown right here, and then I'll just start pulling, pulling towards it. I don't know if you can catch that. Let me go ahead and, once again, I'm going to have the brown here. So you're, you'll come in, and let's go ahead and just put, let's make this one a little bit bigger. So you can just come in and kind of make a round like that. And then make sure you have a nice chiseled edge. And you just come in and just pull, just pull towards, kind of towards the middle, I guess. You can do something like that. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and put one right here as well. So same thing. Kind of just round it however you want, like so. Excuse me, I got a hair there. And then just pull towards it. And we'll have this one coming. A little bit closer, like so. And let's have one more. I don't know, maybe right here. Just one more. Or maybe right here. Maybe right here. One more. Let's come in. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, and let me go ahead 
and wipe this out. And I'm going to go into my dark color now, okay? And yeah, let's go ahead and start. Maybe we'll start right here, okay? And kind of like what we did here, you're just going to come in. We'll have it coming like that. I don't know, can you see that? Yeah, you can. So use your flat brush. If you don't have that, you can use your fan brush and just come in. There we go. something like this. There we go. And I'll push that back. And then maybe we'll have have one come out like that. And then same thing. You want to just go towards towards the middle. Just towards the mill. Right now you're just blocking everything in. There's no detail, so you don't have to really worry about it. But yeah, it's a lot of fun sometimes when you do these types of types of painting. So just have fun with it. There we go. So it just kind of leans over like so. And I don't know, maybe we'll have another one that comes over like this. And same thing. Same thing, just go like that. Same thing here. There we go. Like I said, don't worry about this. It's just, just being blocked in for right now. That's all this is. All this is. There we go. And I'm just looking, seeing if we can, what else we can put in. What else we can put in. Maybe I'll just do one more, maybe this way, and maybe a couple more of these little acorns here. Or excuse me, pine cones. Something like so. second here always trying to figure out what the paint let me see just feel like maybe maybe it should be something else over here there we go maybe something like that there we go just like that
maybe another one. There you go. Got some nice, nice little things going there. Let me go ahead and get this wiped out. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just clean this right quick just because it's got a lot of the uh, dark on there and I want it to be brown. All right, let me get that nice and wiped and cleaned off the best I can. You don't want your paint thinner with your clear medium. It kind of doesn't really like it too much. So let me go ahead and just make a maybe another pine pine cone or two. Maybe, I don't know. Let's go ahead and just maybe something over here. So I'll go ahead and here or actually well, maybe we'll just do uh, do something else we'll go ahead and just uh, let's go ahead and just do the dog paw straight down and then turn it and I'll just come in and just let's put something like that There we go. Just something there so we can kind of break it up. All right, let's go ahead and get this cleaned. All righty, clean, clean flat brush. I'm gonna go into my white. There we go, just load it up. Make sure you have a nice, nice chiseled edge here. Let's go ahead and start Go ahead and just start putting in our things. And I'm just gonna come in and just start. Putting in, putting in your pine cones. It is a little, little bright. So I'm gonna go ahead and just darken it up slightly. We don't want so much highlight. You're just going to come in and just it's kind of like this rock in motion. And there you go. There's your pine cone. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's get this other one going here as well. A little bit more brown, All right. and then the same thing. There you go. I don't know if you can hear my one of my kids. Their TV is blasting right now. I can hear it. Hopefully, it's not coming through. Hopefully, it's not coming through on your ends. Try to be as professional as possible. There you go. There's another one. Add a little bit more. I think I'm going to go ahead and if you give me one second, I'm going to go ahead and just get some burnt umber. Okay. I apologize that. Apologize for that. I went ahead and just put, got a little bit of this uh, burnt umber. I want it more brown. It's giving me more of a gray color. And that's, uh, fortunately, it's the Gamblin um, 1980 colors I'm using. So it, it is a, a little bit different, some of the colors. But there you go. Yeah, see, it's that's the color we're looking for, okay? So I'm going to add a little bit of white just so it can stick out a little bit more. There we go. Uh, and it's going to be the same thing here. I 
So at least I got the brown and I got the highlight all pretty much done. So let's go ahead and get this other side here. And I'll start back here. And I'm gonna need a little bit more weight. I would recommend that if you're doing this and if you had an opportunity to watch this first, that would be awesome because you're probably gonna want burnt umber instead of Van Dyke Brown for your, for your pine cones here. And there's another pine cone. And let's go ahead and get this guy in here. Just clean that, try to get a little bit more weight. All right, and let's there we go. Sorry. Little mistakes, just trying to correct them so they look a little bit better. There we go. And let me wipe that off. And I just want to add some, just a little bit of this, uh, some of my black here. Just to kind of, just give it a little bit of shadow. So, maybe the same thing over here. So, there we go. Let me clean that. And I'm gonna grab a one inch brush. I'm gonna dip into just a, just a tad bit of my paint and medium here. And I'm gonna go into this yellow that I have right there with the touch of that green. And it's going to come in and let's put it in a couple little highlights right there. There we go. Something like so. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and highlight here and we will be done with this. I know it's been a long video. So let's go ahead and rock and roll. And, oh, I don't even think I used that yellow, yellow ochre, so I'll make sure not to put that on the, uh, on the list. I don't even think I used the yellow ochre, so. Actually, did I? Nope, never even used it. All right, so I'm going to go right into my cad yellow here. And I'm going to start to highlight. And so I'm going to start over here. Like so. I don't know if you can catch that. I'm going to actually grab just a touch, touch of this painting medium, just to thin this out slightly. There we go. And then, there you go. Touch and pull it. See? Just like that, okay? Let's grab your yellow. There you go. And what's nice is as you go back, it just, here's your highlight and then it goes right into the shadow, which is pretty cool. And load up again. And let's go ahead and do the same thing. Do the same thing right here. There we go. And then same thing.
There you go. There you go, just like that. Then we go ahead and just give this a little wiping. There we go, because it's starting to pick up a little too much. There we go, and just a touch of that painting meeting on as well. And come right back and do the same thing. Let's start with this one. Just like that. And we'll just come in, same thing. There we go. See, it's easier up here that you can pull towards the middle, but from here you gotta kind of flick up, so. Same thing, just grab your stuff and just Pull towards the mill. Something like that. And then let's go ahead and try to get this side over here. So same thing. Grab a little bit more of that medium because it's just a little too thick. There we go. Correct that. And same thing here. this in as well. Let me just there you go. There you go. A little bit more of that just a tad bit more of that medium there. And same thing. There we go. There we go. Wherever you think it's you know, you sh there should be a leaf. It's probably exactly where the leaf needs to be. And let's go ahead and just get over here as well. There you go. And let's go right on back and just give it a little bit more just a little bit more and I'm going to go ahead and just grab some of this white that I got left we'll put it right there add a little bit more of this medium and just a couple of spots here or there let's go ahead and just Try to get this a little bit highlighted, a little bit better. Just a little bit here, there. Something like that. Uh, maybe. There we go. 
couple little spots over here as well. There we go. There we go. Just want to clean this up and maybe add a little bit of shadow and that will be it. Just give me one second. I'm going to take a clean fan brush. It's going to come in. Figure the light's coming this way so the shadow should Just like that. I'm going to add a little bit more dark to it. There you go. It adds just a little bit of shadow and just makes it a little bit, a little bit more depth, I guess. Just gives it a little bit more depth. Same thing. There we go. Yeah, same thing. Something like that. Let me take this, I'll put that down and grab a another one. And just kind of blend this in real quick. Let me take a step back. Maybe just a little bit more shadow. Put that down. And just one second. There you go. I don't think it's going to get much better than that. So let me go ahead and put this down. I'm going to grab my wire brush. I'm going to go right into my white medium. And so I'm going to go ahead and I think and just get this bad boy sign. So I think I'll just go ahead. I'll sign it right here. Ah, we need a little bit more of that stuff. There we go. Remember, as always, make sure that this paint right here is pretty thin. It should slide right on over. And I really want to say thank you very much for, for checking this out. Thank you so much for subscribing and everything. So I just want to wish you a happy holiday and wish you and your family a really, really good one. And I hope you have a good new year. Thank you so much.